Vintage tape record collectors. I usually stick to stereo equipment and tube radios, but this one kind of is a special tape recorder. I consider this to be the best kids tape recorder ever made. They're made from 72 to 74. It's a Panasonic tape and ta take and tape RQ711S. They were made in Japan and it's not light. It's about three pounds. It can run on AC or 4C cells. Either one. Uh, I just don't have any C cells right now. This one I got at a flea market fairly recently. Um, I had the gray one. Uh, my brother had the red one and I got mine Christmas 73 and it was like I wanted a tape recorder that I could tape on and I just want to show you something this here is the original tape that I got original Sony C60 auto sensor tape now here's something we're talking that's 50 years old well it actually it's gonna work I'll show you now the people that you hear on this tape, this was handing the tape recorder to somebody that dropped in at my parents' house and I said, say something funny. What would be this time, okay? Yes, uh, thank you very much. This is your old singer, your old pal from South Carolina, your ever-loving top hit recorder, and the very, very best was my really big million dollar seller, one I'm very, very proud of. I don't think I'll ever do another one like it. I won't go on to protect the innocent, but I mean, it amazes me. This tape still plays just fine all the way through, not shedding any oxide. Uh, this tape recorder, although the belt was okay on it, uh, there was no audio. It was very garbled, very low. And there's only about six or seven electrolytic capacitors inside this. Very small board on this side. And so I just changed all the electrolytics and it came right back to life. Um, not many hours on this one. Capson's in great shape. All the rubber idlers are in great shape. These were really made well. There's a lot of metal parts in it. So this is sort of my tribute. Um, Sometime in 1973, late in the year, I opened this tape up and put it in, and it's held that recording. And I just want to submit to you, is there anything built today, audio or visual, that you could pull out 50 years from now, put a few parts in it, do a little cleaning up, and play a video or whatever? I kind of doubt it with the digital stuff, with iPhones, any of that. It wasn't made to this caliber. Panasonic was really good stuff in its day. Anyway, thanks for watching and listening.